Hello Bakers and welcome to Upside Down. This is part 2 of our series for creating realistic leaves inside Unreal Engine 4. If you missed the first part where we created and set up the base for our material, where on the plane we have one of the sides using one texture and the other side another, I'll leave a link somewhere on the top. For today, our mission is going to be to use Substance 3D Sampler, or this was before known as Substance Alchemist, and we are going to use the two diffuse textures that we had earlier to create normal maps, roughness maps, and later on we are going to create as well a subsurface map. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro. So I have already the two diffuse textures and we are going to start by just drag and dropping one of them into uh, our panel here on the side. Uh, one more thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that uh, you will be able to find the textures uh, that I will use in this tutorial and as well the mesh down below. So check in the description and get all the materials so that you can follow along. We would say to Substance Sampler that uh, we would like to create a material from this image and we are going to use a power, so just click import and once it finishes uh, loading you should see something like this. You can see that uh, right from the start we already have uh, some displacement going on, so we need to stop that. Uh, this is here from our settings on the bottom. So I'm just going to remove the displacement so that it doesn't uh, messes up with uh, what we see. And also in terms of tiling, I'm just going to set this back to one. Okay, now it's uh, a little bit better. And now we will start tweaking a little bit few of the settings. First thing that we will start uh, setting up is going to be our base material properties. So here on the side you can see that we have this panel properties, I'm just going to pull it a little bit up. And then we have a couple of different presets that uh, we can use. But uh, as you see they are like fabric and oh, we have a vegetation one. So we are going to pick of course the vegetation preset. This will make the things uh, already a little bit better, but still our roughness, I would say we will need to tweak it a little bit. So we have this slider over here, which we can of course change and make it with uh, more or less roughness. So let's leave it something like that. And now let's start uh, tweaking some of the other parameters. If we go to uh, the top of the whole stack that we have on the side, image to material, this AI powered one, you can see that uh, we have a couple of different uh, tweaks over here as well. So first one is going to be the geometry details. This is something which is important because it's affecting the way how our normal map works. And and if we would like to see as well what we are doing in 2D, we can not only have the 3D previewer turned on, but as well we can have a 2D image on the side. This way we can see actually the output of the channels when we are tweaking them and what exactly we are getting as a result. So uh, here we have the material output, which I think it's not very useful, but uh, what we can do as well is we can uh, change the settings from the bottom and we are going to go for normal map. So we see what exactly we are doing inside the normal map texture. I would like to change one more thing before starting to tweak everything because the textures that we are using, they are not square ones, but instead it's a 1K texture on 512 so i'm just going to change this to be in the same way as it is in the original one i'm going to unlock this one so that we can change uh, both to be different sizes and i'm going to do it like that now we have a, a little bit better representation of uh, exactly how the texture is going to look and we can start tweaking little by little some of the details so uh as you see we have like large medium and macro details. Here the large details is going to be like our edges and everything else around. We, I would say, don't want to have uh, that much from that, so probably we'll leave it kinda as it was. 
Then we will go for the medium details. This will be some of the veins of the leaf. I would say that uh, as well, it's maybe a little bit too hard. So let's lower it down like this. And I think that we might need to boost a little bit some of the micro details just to get a little bit more variety in terms of uh, how the light is catching everything. Now let's go into our roughness and I'm going to change the map here so that it's on roughness. And then we have our base value. So the base value is 0.5, which uh, we can always uh, make it so that it's not as, uh, it doesn't have as much glossiness or more glossiness depending of uh, the type of the leaf. I would strongly recommend you to get some either photography or to get some references from internet to just have on the second screen or uh, have on the site just to see and compare different leaves from real life in terms of roughness. But uh, I'm going to set it up so uh, it has a little bit more than we are going to put more variation. And in terms of softness as well, I'm uh, just putting a little bit more. I'll increase that a bit. And then the albedo details enhance, we are going to go for that one as well. So the albedo details means that uh, we are going to get a little bit of a support on some of the edges around for our albedo. And uh, yeah, I think that I'm pretty happy with the result. Maybe I will just lower this a little bit like that. Yeah, that uh, seems to be working just fine. And now since uh, we are ready with uh, all of that, we just need to export the textures. Since we are doing two textures which are going to be from the same material and uh, from the same leaf, then uh, I would recommend you to have these values uh, remembered and set it up so that uh, next time you can use for the second one exactly the same ones. So what I'm going to do now is export this one and then do exactly the same settings for the second. See you in a bit inside Unreal. One last thing before uh, going into Unreal, when you're exporting everything, you might want to use the Unreal 4 setup. I'm going to use the Targa format because uh, this is the format that we use for our diffuse textures. And then as a preset, I'm going to use Unreal Engine. We don't have uh, and we don't need the base color because uh, we already set it up. So we just need normal. We are not going to use displacement and emissive as well. We don't need and then the ambient occlusion, roughness and metallic are going to be packed inside one texture. So now before going inside Unreal, we will uh, set up our subsurface as well. So these are the two textures that I have for the leaf inside Photoshop. And we're just going to tweak them a little bit so that uh, we get a different result, like a little bit brighter and a little bit more saturated for our subsurface. I'm going to go into my adjustments and get a brightness and contrast. So we are going to make it a little bit brighter. Let's add a little bit more contrast. And I'm also going to use a saturation node. So this one, I'm just going to pull the slider a little bit up. I think plus seven is maybe too much. So plus five will be fine. And now we are saving this as our subsurface textures. I just imported everything inside Unreal. And before uh, continuing to set up our material, there is one more thing that we need to change. And this is our uh, occlusion, roughness and metallic map. Uh, by default, it comes with the default compression, so we need to change that into mask. This way, we will make sure that uh, it renders properly and uh, Unreal will read it correctly. Now we can open our material setup and continue from what we left last time. If you missed the video, it's going to be down in the description below. So uh, now we are going to copy this lerp node and I'll just move this a little bit on the side and put this into alpha one more time. And now we are going to get our normal and also taking the second normal map. Let's move those a bit on the side. So this goes to A, this goes to B, and this goes into normal. Now let's copy paste this one more time. I'm actually going to move this lower and I'll grab this one over here. This will be split it into uh, three different nodes. So we uh, don't need 
those I'm going to delete them and then instead we are getting our roughness occlusion and uh, metallic so metallic we won't need so just roughness and occlusion and uh, we don't get the rgb over here but instead we would get the red channels first time and then we will do one more node over here which will be for uh, our green channels like this So our red channel will go into our ambient occlusion and this one will go into our roughness. And now there is one more thing that uh, we need to add into the whole thing. So this is going to be our subsurface. First we need to change the parameters for our material so that uh, we can actually add subsurface because by default you can't. And what we need to do is come over here, like you need to click somewhere on the empty space. Then we come on the shading mode and from here we can choose either the subsurface or there is already a two side foliage. So we are going to choose this one and you can see that now we have subsurface color. So what we're going to do is just drag the two subsurface textures into the project. We get a lerp node exactly the same as before, put tools like that and then we put this one over here and we connect this one into our subsurface, apply, save and there we have it. We have a uh, very simple, you can see a very simple uh, setup for our leaves but uh, it's something which uh, is quite well working so we get uh, a little bit of roughness a little bit of normal map as well and also we have uh, our leaf to have two different sides and we can uh, use that material for creating uh, trees or creating flowers and of course for many many different things that uh, we would like to have two different uh, sides of everything Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope that this was useful and helpful for you. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. See you next time.